seven minutes away from local weather right here on Action News Now. Let's go over to Brian Ramsey in the Storm Tracker Center with a look at our very soggy start to Wednesday morning. Yes, yeah, so right now it's raining in Chico, it's raining in Oroville, it's even raining in the Foothill locations. I actually have a live look right now at Jarbo Gap where you can see rain on that camera. In fact, let me do a go let me go ahead and do an hour time lapse of this camera. You can see it wasn't raining an hour ago at Jarbo Gap, but you do see those showers out there in the distance and they moved in and eventually uh, you began to see rain falling on this camera. As you see, this was just a few moments ago, it began to rain. And that is kind of the picture we are seeing across the area right now. Some intermittent showers uh, throughout the area, both throughout the night and into the morning. We'll see those showers increasing later on this afternoon and the chance for some thunderstorms. So here's a look at the radar. You saw that band of showers started in Siskiyou and Shasta County. They moved farther south. Now it's mainly focused in southern Yuba, in Yuba County and southern Butte County at the moment. Also in the foothill locations and some, some showers still in the Sierra. One small shower near Susanville. As I take a zoomed in look over the last few hours, you did see several showers go through both Red Bluff and in Chico throughout the morning. So uh, we did get about a tenth of an inch out of those uh, rainfall. Farther south, it's now raining in Oroville, Loma Rica, and in Feather Falls as well. That rain will continue to fall. As for the future cast, uh, we do see plenty of green on that future cast for rain uh, chances today. You won't see as much rain as we saw on Monday, but you'll still see rain through the day today. As for those temperatures by your lunch hour, sitting in the upper 60s, then right around 70 degrees for your high temperature. So between noon and 5 o'clock, temperatures don't change much. They stay pretty moderated because of all the clouds and all the rain. Also notice some of those red spots out there. Those are chances for thunderstorms. So you could see a few thunderstorms in the valley and in mountain locations today. So we'll be keeping a very close eye on that. As you go into your evening hours, notice the rain kind of dries out in the valley. So not really any rain chances after sunset in the valley, but you could still see some lingering showers out there in those mountain locations. As we go to your overnight low temperatures, getting pretty cool. Might even want to turn your heater on tonight with temperatures dropping in the mid 50s for many of you, 50 degrees for a low out there in Redding. And then look at that, so even some 30s out there in those mountain locations. As for tomorrow's high temperature, warming up more than what we're going to see today. So should hit the upper 70s tomorrow, close to 80 degrees for some of you. And then 60s in those mountain locations. As we go to overnight tomorrow, though, the rain does move out of the area and those clouds will be clearing tomorrow. As for Chico today, a high of 74 degrees, so pretty mild for temperatures. You will see those scattered showers and a chance for a thunderstorm as well, though, so you might need an umbrella as you're heading out the door. But on Thursday, you won't need that umbrella. Those clouds will be clearing through the day with temperatures warming into the upper 70s, then all the way into the mid 80s on Friday and upper 80s on Saturday with the sunshine returning for the weekend. So a pretty pleasant picture perfect weekend for you as you go to Monday, though fall does begin with highs in the mid 80s with mostly sunny skies. As for Reading, a high of 72 degrees for today, so pretty mild temperature rising all the way to the upper upper 70s on Thursday, though you won't need the umbrella on Thursday, even though you will need it today. As you go to Friday, a high of 86 degrees, then warming all the way into the 90s on Saturday. But we're back in the 80s on Sunday and Monday to start your fall before we warm back into the 90s again on Tuesday. Julia, back to you. All right, Brian, thanks. Those temps are looking pretty good. A lawsuit between a city